still here in Chiang Mai. One of the typical things in uh, Thailand in general is the night markets. Chiang Mai is no exception. And we're here at the Tapi night market held on a Sunday night. So I'm just going to go along and take a look. The Tapi night market is held within the one square mile of the old town within Chiang Mai. It's held between the Tapi Gate and the Wat Pra Singh Temple. And they close the entire street off so there's plenty of room to move around safely. It's a real mixture of everything along here as well as food clothes, jewellery, candles. See the crowds out in force on a Sunday night. It's about six. Yeah, it's about 6.25 p.m. at the moment. Runs till 10.30 at night. Starts at 5 p.m. Trying to find some of the food vendors. Dim sum. Skewers. Come off one of the side streets, which is uh, marked off as a food centre. It's in within the temple. Some song tam. Cow soy. Bowls of the noodles at the back there. All the different broths. Crispy noodles there. Pretty good value, 15 baht for pork, 15 for chicken. Fish. We ended up getting a, a sausage. I was a bit nervous for sausages. We uh, got a sausage in uh, Costa Mui at the start of the year and uh, our whole faces went numb with it because it was a numbing sausage. So let's see how we got on with this. Nice. Nice taste of lemongrass. A lot of meat in it. One of the things about Thai sausages, you get a lot of herbs in it, so fibres it out more than what you would with a, a Western style sausage. This one's quite meaty, certainly juicy. Also got a, a skewer. Nice. Chicken, really soft, nice spicy food, really good. A good market, this fish maw soup here. Tried that in Bangkok, it's so delicious. Really rich broth. See the strips of bamboo shoots and ginger, the corn and the fish maw on the top. Making all the noodles and scooping off to the side. Fried ducklets. Chicken, pork, shrimp. All mixed. Focus 40 baht for five pieces. The oysters, fried oysters, seafood pancakes. 
This is the ordination hall just off where the food court is. And then install the pan of food. The ice looking carries here. So I ended up getting uh, butter chicken and Indian rice and uh, a couple of chicken samosas. Bit of butter chicken here. Slightly salty, a bit creamy. Good the rice is uh, nice and separate. Oh, every cup must stand on its own bottom. Made with chicken breast, so quite dry. Every every tub must stand on its own bottom. Taste it, huh? We've got the uh, samosa here. It's quite crumbly texture in the middle. Got a tamarind sauce and really nice, very light. What did you think of the samosa, Josie? I thought they were delicious. I, I like the pastry. Although I just, I mean, sweet edged it, but I think it's the sauce that was lying in. Mm. To the main street again. Still busy. Mm -hmm. About uh, 8 pm now. That food court was excellent. A lot of good choice. Really well set up as well. Nice and clean. It seems to be that the temples are set up for the food courts and the main streets for the souvenirs and clothes and silverware etc. To the end of the market now, coming up to Wat Pha Sing Temple. What a great market! It's certainly one of the better ones we've been to in Thailand. It's really accessible. They shut down the main road, so the walking surface is absolutely excellent. Highly recommend a visit to here.